It started with the search for the perfect drink to quench his thirst. Seth Goldman found most drinks were too sweet or tasteless and didn't fulfill his needs. You, you want, it's good to be on the leading edge of, of things. I think too often in the beginning we're on the bleeding edge. <laughs> it's like. Jump ahead to 1997 and Goldman quit his job at a mutual funds company. What we used to do was put tea leaves in this basket here. And was brewing batches of tea in his kitchen with his professor from the Yale School of Management, Barry Nailbluff. It was a, uh, not the best process, but it worked. <laughs> There's, this is a little bit of a timeline for the company's history, starting back in 1998 when there were three employees and or I started, you know, was still selling tea out of my house. We got Whole Foods as our first customer, which we sold using thermoses and a, a, an empty Snapple bottle. And did you deliver that tea yourself to Whole Foods? I presented it myself and then we had a truck deliver it. I, that I, I wasn't driving. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't long after that first year that Honest Tea took off in sales. In the early 2000s, the company grew by about 50 to 60 percent a year. Their mission, to create a product in which the true taste of the tea leaves comes through. So here's, you know, spearmint leaves, which is, I just made some this morning, and, you know, that's, those are the ingredients. Oh, that smells yeah. really right? good. When you're growing this big, mm -hmm. this quickly, mm -hmm. what can you, what do you attribute that to? What was it? <laughs> a lot of hard work, really. I mean, I think they, there's certainly um, some truth. We were, we were offering something different, you know, so we would go to the stores. Everyone, most of the stores had products that were really sweet, you know, sort of 100 calories per serving, and we were offering them something 30 calories per serving, so it was very different. And, and what happened is over time, people's diets started to change. In 2007, his young son gave him the idea to create a less sugary drink to pack in his lunch, which resulted in Honest Kids. I was packing his lunchbox and I was putting in a lot of those sweet drinks in his lunchbox. He said, Dad, he says, you know, you're, you're selling all these healthy drinks to adults, but you're putting a really sweet drink in my lunchbox. And he was right. And good, so, good point. Yeah, and this is, this is now a third of our business. In 2008, the company celebrated its 10th anniversary with the announcement that Coca-Cola would be purchasing 40% of the business. Goldman says this opportunity has allowed Honesty to take its mission to a much greater level. When Coke invested in 2008, we were in 15,000 stores around the country, and this summer we got over 100,000. The goal was, was to, to make this product, you know, a healthy, sustainable product, more available. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and it's not too it's sweet, really right? really good. That's, I like that. And in terms of production, we're now, we've gotten four Coca-Cola bottling plants that are certified organic. Um, so now they're producing our product. And in fact, producing it at a, um, the product is better from a quality perspective. And it's still made with real tea leaves. You know, there's no, there's no um, shortcuts that we've taken. We wanted to learn more about where the tea for our raspberry tea comes from, the people picking the tea leaves, and the fair trade partnerships that we have with the community. So earlier this year, I traveled to Tamil Nadu in India to visit the Korakunda Tea Garden. But not only does Seth Goldman talk the talk of an environmentally conscious entrepreneur, he walks the walk as well. The tea workers pick the top two leaves and the bud off the plants. Here's the two leaves, one, two, and the bud. He rides his bike to work every day. It's such a great way to start the morning. And even gave each one of his employees a bike so that they could also live a more healthy, sustainable lifestyle. You know, I'm a co-founder, and Honest Tea is a co-founder yes. of Bethesda Green. Right. Goldman is also responsible for helping launch the Bethesda Green Project. Honest Tea donated 30 recycling bins to the city of Bethesda to help the county increase its recycling rates. I reached out to Councilmember George Leventhal. So we um, donated through Coca-Cola about $30,000 and acquired about 30 bins throughout downtown Bethesda and much of his office space was constructed with recycled material. The whole office, we've tried to create a sustainable feel. We, we put in these bamboo floors, which are, bamboo is a rapidly renewable hardwood, so you can, you know, the plants regenerate very quickly. And so we put that in throughout the office. This used to be a mortgage broker's office. It used to have walls and cubicles, and uh, we took down all the walls. We let, let people feel closer to, to nature, and in fact, yeah. the windows open, which is... Oh, nice. <laughs> That's in really nice. in, in, in um, office buildings, it's almost like passing an act of Congress to be able to open the window. 
Honesty employees also participated in a National Community Service Day, which here in Montgomery County included cleaning up the Cabin John Trail and painting a community health clinic. Most of our employees aren't here in Bethesda, most of them are around the country. Um, so they were doing work all over the country. Honesty is known as a countrywide leader in sustainability. The company is the first manufacturer to introduce certified fair trade bottled tea. New flavors are actually created in a mini lab in the Bethesda office and the employees are the official taste testers. It's a simple, down-to-earth working atmosphere that's generating millions of dollars in revenue annually. And when you ask Seth Goldman why he chose Bethesda for this venture, his answer is clear. And in fact, I had some, some advanced uh, investors come into town who said, oh, well, you know, if you're going to be this natural foods company, you should be setting up a P.O. box in Vermont or New Hampshire, and uh, you, know, you don't want to have it based in Bethesda. And, and my first question was, well, number one, that's not honest. You know, <laughs> trying to be honest. But number two is, well, what's wrong with Bethesda? Why can't it, why shouldn't it really be um, one of the leading green communities in the country? Um, why can't we make Bethesda that way? Transparency is a commitment Goldman has been able to keep since he first launched Honest Tea some 14 years ago. At the Bethesda headquarters, there are no fancy offices or conference rooms. In fact, Goldman works alongside the other employees. He puts on no airs. It feels like a natural uh, representation of, of who we are, you know, in terms of what we're building, who we, who we, how we want to communicate with people. Our, our company, people feel comfortable coming to work because it's, you can be your whole person here. You don't have to sort of check your values at the door. You don't have to sort of leave behind a part of your mm -hmm. life, whether it's, you know, personal relationships or things you believe in. Um, we really want to encourage people to be able to express mm -hmm. all parts of themselves through their work. What's next for Seth Goldman and the folks at Honest Tea? He says he likes to say their tea party is just beginning. This um, proverb, which is one of my favorite bottle cap quotes, those who say it cannot be done should not interrupt the people doing it. And that is so core to what, how we think about our business because we're doing something. From the start, we've been doing something that's challenging. It's very easy to take easier paths. So, you know, for us, we knew we'd sweeten up the drink and it'd sell more. Or, you know, if you don't put organic ingredients in, we can make it cheaper and it'd sell more. Um, but we said we really want to stand for something here. And in the long term, that made sense. In the short term, it was probably made it a little more painful for us. Um, so, you know, you have to sort of really make sure you know why you're doing something and then stick with it. And I think the other one, which certainly served us well, is, is just don't give up. <laughs>